I'm Gordon Wasser. I'm 67 years old. I was born on this farm. My father, grandfather, and we've all been farmers. I'm getting ready to put in my 52nd corn and soybean crop. I get a thrill out of every year. My father lived through a very exciting time, but I really think that I'm probably going to live through a much more exciting time because we're starting to see this rapid change. We're looking at the crop growing at a faster rate, so this means that this is freeing up a lot of crop for the ethanols and for the uh, new plastics and all the new things that are coming. So I'm very glad that it's happening in a state like Iowa uh, you know, we like to say we are an energy state by what we grow. We're growing energy. We definitely, without a doubt, have lowered the soil erosion since we've been to no-till and, and that is a very basic part of that is the biotech. You know, we like to say is since that we went to no-till, we lose less soil from erosion in 10 years than we used to lose years ago in one year. So. There isn't any doubt in my mind that we've definitely improved our soil health and uh, our land is improving. Where we went away from the tillage and went to the no-till, we've cut the amount of fuel use uh, dramatically because it's fewer trips over the field. And uh, in the fall, when we were able to plant uh, earlier with the newer genetics, we're, we're harvesting at a much nicer time of the year. Uh, we definitely do not spend the amount of uh, gas to, to dry this crop as we did a number of years ago. It allows us to harvest in much better weather, which means less field loss. So this is my view of modern farming. It's a whole series of things all coming together to make modern agriculture. You almost always uh, get uh, the questions of, uh, well, that you're a pawn of the major companies that you're forced into planting these crops. Well, the first thing that uh, I and most farmers will say, no, no, it's an economic decision. If it doesn't put money in my pocket, I don't do it because there are plenty of choices out there. You don't have to do it. But as far as around the world, I think it's an absolute necessity that a lot of places have got to be able to raise more food per acre. Most people in the world, and we have to remember we're a small part of the world, they have to worry about feeding their families and, and their future generations. I just don't think the old conventional way of farming is going to do it. We're going to have to continue to use biotech.